that which is valuable. Mm -hmm. um, because there is another group that um, we're associated with, and that is the National Youth um, Health Project. That's the Hear the Children's Cry group. From, from Grand Span? Yes. Mm -hmm. And those boys are collecting paper and they intend to go into plastics. But they're collecting that and that goes to another company that ships it overseas. And so there is money in collecting garbage and they've been able to gain employment by doing that. So there is a lot of business mm -hmm. right here. There's an opportunity for business right here because in other countries that is what they do. Yes, in fact I remember watching a documentary somewhere in either Japan or China, this apartment complex, uh, it, it, uh, the, the area where the, the chute for the, where, the, where the garbage yes. is, is, is disposed of goes underground to another area yes. where sorting takes awesome. place. Yes. And, and it goes into a, a recycling plant yes. and, and, and it's continuous. Yes, yes. And that is clear, that would be the ideal place for us to be. It but would it's, be. It's going to take a lot of... It's going to take a lot because in our discussions with the Solid Waste uh, Management Authority, they are challenged by even the number of trucks that they can provide to collect the garbage. So there is a number of groups, organizations, processes that need to come together to really solve this problem because it seems as if there is never enough trucks to collect the garbage and hence a lot of it gets thrown out on the road. People just drive and, and just throw things. We see that every day and there's no penalty um, for it but um, we, we have to do something. Um, people come here just because of the beauty of Port Royal yes. and to think that you pass through all of this garbage to go eat fish in Port Royal, you know, it's unbelievable. Yes. You yes. know, um, it's not a good experience. No, can you imagine what the fish are eating? No, that no. is something else. We won't go there. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to another break here on Power 106 FM. We've been speaking with Joylene Griffiths Irving, the director of, uh, of public, public and corporate affairs at Scotiabank. Back in a moment.